Hi, welcome my friends. Today you will learn about an interesting topic which is about electromagnetism and electromagnetic induction. Wait, certain materials in nature show magnetism. Therefore, these materials are known as magnets. Magnets can be either electromagnets or permanent magnets. In electromagnets, the magnetism is prevailed when there is current passing through the coil of the electromagnet. Simply, if there is current in the electromagnet, then it shows magnetism, and if there is no current, that means there is no magnetism. Permanent magnets show its magnetism permanently. Therefore, it is a characteristic of the material which it made. Based on the shape, permanent magnets can be bar magnets, horseshoe magnets, and ring magnets. And one thing you need to understand is magnets have two poles, the North Pole and South Pole. So, the North Poles and South Poles interact with each other either via attraction or by the repulsion. The light poles, that means south to south and north to north, those poles will repel each other. But unlike poles, for example, north to south and south to north, these poles will attract each other. Even though we classify magnets as uh, electromagnets and permanent magnets, these are really important for various purposes. For example, in telecommunication, these are really important for radios, televisions, and is in even in electromagnetic lift. Electromagnets used to lift heavy metal, heavy materials. Then in compass, then in electric motors, and even in our credit cards. So, what are these magnetic materials actually? Magnetic materials are materials showing magnetic properties. For example, metals like iron, nickel, and even steel show magnetic properties. Therefore, these are magnetic materials. But how about these materials? Just like rubber, plastic, and even wood. These materials do not show magnetism. Therefore, these are not magnetic materials. Okay. What is this magnetic field? It is the region of a magnet which has its influence around the magnet. So, the direction of the magnetic field and the strength of the magnetic field may vary from point to point. And one thing you need to memorize is that the magnetic field starts from the North Pole and it ends up in South Pole. So, here this shows a simple experiment about the arrangement of the magnetic field around a magnet. So, here these are iron powders and here you can see the arrangement of the magnetic field around the magnet. Well, I will ask a question. Do you know how the compass works? The needle of the compass is a magnet. Therefore, in order to use the compass for navigation, the, our earth must be a magnet. This is not a novel thing. This exists in our nature. For example, migratory birds use the earth's magnetic field for its navigation. That means to find its direction during the migration period. Okay, so we can use this compass to find the direction of the magnetic field. So therefore the compass needle will show the direction of the magnetic field. So what is the magnetic effect of a current? So when current passes through a current carrying conductor, it induces a magnetic field around the conductor. So, from the using a compass, we can prove it easy. So, here the experimental show setup show how it works. So, we will discuss further about this from the second part of this video.